Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, my son, now we turn to uh, another uh, concept, the concept of cross field. And uh, we start with this example. Cross field is very important because uh, sometimes they call it the velocity selector, okay? Because it selects velocities or speed. Uh, let's look at this example here. It says an electron. It's important to know uh, if it is a positive or negative charge because the direction of the force, Lorentz force, changes depending on the sign of the charge, okay? An electron moves, so we have an electron here, okay? Moves with a constant velocity. This is the velocity. I. You see the I here? Unit vector. This is a vector here. That's the magnitude, that's the direction, and that's the units. Through across electric and magnetic fields. So we have an electric and magnetic field which crosses, which means the angle between B and E is 90 degrees, okay? And the electric field is along the, this electric field here. This is the magnitude and that's the direction, J. And the units is a volt per meter. That's the units of the, what is the magnetic field? He want B in unit Tesla, in that, uh, in the unit Tesla, okay? Uh, in the units, in mini Tesla. In units of mini Tesla, okay? It doesn't matter, yani we, have to, we are going to find the answer in Tesla anyway, but later then you can, uh, you can find uh, in, in mini Tesla la later, okay? But, uh, so let's write down, let's first of all draw a figure here quick, quickly, okay? An X, Y, Z, Z, Z plane, okay? X, Y, Z axis. That's X, that's Y, and that's Z axis, okay? This is I, unit vector I. This unit vector J and this unit vector K. Okay, you should know these things. Okay, now my electron is sitting here. Okay, my electron is sitting here. Negative charge and it has uh, a velocity along the I. So my velocity is in this direction. Okay, but that's V. Okay, and the electric field is along the J. This is the electric field here. That's the electric field. Let me draw it here. Okay, is along the J axis, okay? And now, uh, the, uh, the directly, you, uh, you, you can see that there is an electric force. And the electric force, can you tell me, my son, which, 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 what is the direction of the electric force? We're going to review again now uh, previous, uh, you have to go back to previous videos and look at how you can determine the direction of the electric force. Uh, since the charge is negative, and that's the electric field, the electric force will be in this direction. Of course, you should know this. Eh? That's Fe. And since this, this object, this electron, is moving at constant speed, there should be another force here in this direction, which is F, magnetic force, okay? That's important. And the two forces should cancel each other so that the electron will move at constant uh, speed. Otherwise, if one of the forces is, is, is uh, larger than the other one, the electron will not move uh, 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 along this uh, uh, I, uh, along the x-axis, it will move in a curved path, okay? It will move in a plane. But now it's moving in, in, in this direction, it means the two forces cancel each other, okay? And that's important, all right? That's important. Now, since uh, this is the force, can you tell me what is the direction of the, of, of the, of the, that's the magnetic force? Can you tell me what is the direction of the, of the, of the, of the magnetic field, B? I want to know the direction of B. Can you draw the direction of B in this figure here? That's V, if you do like this, V, V, V is along the x-axis. Let's say x-axis is coming out, eh? B is down, okay? B is down, the force will be in this direction, okay? But that, be careful, the charge is negative. It means B will be up, okay? So my magnetic field is in this direction, actually. Now, let's apply the right-hand rule. This V is out, B is up, the force magnetic force is to the, in this direction, but then, because of negative charge, you can change in direction and make it in this direction here. So I know that the magnetic force should be in this direction because it has to cancel the electric force so that the, the electron move in at constant speed, okay? Constant speed. Velocity, constant velocity, okay? So, so I know FB, I know V, I can find the magnetic field here. And you can see that they are crossed, okay? They are perpendicular. E is along the X, Y axis, and B is along the Z axis, okay? So, I know the magnetic field, I, 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 that it is along the Z axis. This is very important, okay? So, B, B, the vector B, is along the Z axis positive 
the uh, direction. Okay? Okay? That's important. Now, to find its magnitude is very sim simple. You just have to write that F E in magnitude should be equal to F B in magnitude. Be careful, my son. This is very important to, uh, to understand this figure here. Uh, you can stop the video and do it again and repeat the video to see how I was able to uh, find the direction of B. Okay? B is along the positive, positive Z uh, direction. Okay? If it was the proton, things will be completely different, okay? Uh, we, will, we'll, we will see the proton later if we have time, okay? Now, uh, this is Q8, of course, where E is the charge of the electron, and this is QVB, magnitude, okay? Uh, you see that V and B are perpendicular, so the angle between them is 90, and there's a sign here, sign of the angle, and sign of 90 is 1, so I just take, take it out, okay? So, then, then B will be what? Will be E over V. Now, you just have to put the numbers now, okay? The magnitude of E is what? 6 10 to the power 3, with the units, volt per meter, and the magnitude of V is 3 and to the power 6. Okay, so this will be 2 and to power minus 3 Tesla. Okay, that's the units. Or if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to uh, write it in milli Tesla, this will be 2 milli Tesla, as he's asking uh, about the units of the uh, of the magnetic field in uh, in units in units of uh, milli Tesla. So this is 2 milli Tesla. So if you want to write now the magnetic field as a vector, it will be 2 and to power minus 3, k like this, k, positive k, and then here you write Tesla like this, okay? All right, that's, that's the magnetic field he's asking for. Be careful, my son, this is very important to understand uh, this uh, diagram here that I was uh, showing you, okay? All right, that's the, that's the final answer. The answer is 2 to the power minus 3, uh, k, k, the, the direction here, the z-axis, Okay, and Tesla is the units for the magnetic field. Thank you.